Now this new game Millennia from Cprompt and Paradox, a lot of people have been asking me how you can mod it. Now there isn't really an easy way to mod this game at the moment, um, that's supposed to be coming later. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you a way on how you can edit, you know, pretty much any of your stats in the game. So I've just started a basic game and you're going to need Cheat Engine. Once you've installed Cheat Engine, you want to go to this process over here and you want to load the process Millennia. And then once that's done, you need to change the value type to float. So the easiest way to do this, I say, would be after your first turn. And then you should have some values on the board. So like you've got your government here as a two and your wealth is a two as well. Now, obviously, you can edit any of these stats, but I'm just going to give you an example on wealth. So we will put two in here and you put first scan, right? And then that's it for now. And then you want to skip another turn. And then as you'll see, your wealth will change to four. So now you want to put that four into here and you want to click next scan, right? Not new scan, you want to click next scan. And then you want to skip another turn. And now the wealth has changed to six. So you want to put six in there and you want to put next scan again. And then once you've done that a few times, you would have obviously shortened down your list. And if you see here, we've got two that look quite similar. So it's probably going to be these two. So then you can just put whatever number you want into these two. And then once you skip your next turn, you'll see that your wealth has been added. So obviously that took 16 turns, which is a really slow way of doing it. But once you have one number in the game, obviously the quicker you can get that number, the better. But then everything becomes a lot easier after that. So if we want to do government now, then we can just type in the 33. So we want to go to new scan and then type 33 and then first scan. Obviously make sure you go to new scan first because otherwise this won't work. You can always name these as well, just to make it easier. Oh, I will also note that I have heard that once you change um, government type, I think it is, sometimes the addresses can change. So these might no longer work anymore after you change your government. But obviously, if that's the case, then you can just you know search for it again. There is ways of getting static addresses, but that's not really something I'm going to go into. I'm just showing you a really easy way you know, on how you can start out. But yeah, so like I say, once we've done that, we will do government. And then one more turn later, we obviously just put the 36 in and search that. And then what we can do is we can look at the address of the wealth. So if you see it's 209 f 4 we can then look for an address that is similar to that on one of these, right? So if you look at these B ones here, it's probably going to be one of these B ones. You can either search like one more time, you know, or you can just test it with one of these. So we're going to try that one. And as you see, it was that one, it worked. But then as you see, this one here hasn't changed, right? But this one has. So you want to grab that one and then you want to remove this one here because obviously these two that point to government but that's just giving you a way on how you can find other values quicker and as a reminder make sure you change the value type to float that's what's important here you have to do that i hope that helped you if it did then please hit the like button but thanks for watching and until next time